Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In a previous video, I walked through the basic usage of the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept button, and in it, we used the default shortcode WP underscore PayPal underscore payment, and what that does is pulls all of the information from settings WP PayPal payment. So whatever settings are in here, this shortcode will grab those, grab that information. But if we wanted to override any of these so that we can we can have multiple boxes throughout the website. And I'll show you what this one looks like here first, really quick. There it is there. So that, like I said, pulls from these settings here. So if we wanted to create another box um, for a different payment and provide custom values for this for the short code, I'll show you how to do that here. We can look at um, the different options. So we could pass in a different PayPal email address if we wanted to um, allow payment for somebody else, for somebody else's PayPal, for example. And this options equals will specify all the different payment options. And then you just separate each payment option with the pipe symbol. And if you wanted to provide the option so that um, the buyer could specify their own payment, their own option, their own choice on how much they want to pay, then you would turn on other amounts. So other underscore amount equals true will go in that short code. And the buyer will be able to specify an amount rather than choose from this list. And also if you want to override the currency, um, the default would be US dollars, but you can specify a different currency. And you can also specify a different thank you page. Um, for each of the boxes. And if you want to ask for different information, um, in this case we're asking for the, the, cust the, the buyer's email address. So we can change this and ask for something else. Alright, so let's take a look at to see what that looks like on the page. So we're going to override this one. Payment for service one, 15. Let's just change this so we can see that it's actually working. Payment for service two, 35. And payment for service three, $97. So let's click on update. We'll refresh this page. And then, yeah, there we go. We see the different options. And it's asking for the email address. Now, if I want to, like I said, ask provide the option so the user can specify how much they want to pay. We just have to add this. And now when we refresh the page, we see a text box where the user can type in an amount that they can pay. All right, that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.